Hey my friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Huck and we're doing it. We're wrapping up 2023. What a year, what a humdinger as I like to say. A lot of things happened on the channel. I did a lot of things on it. I did a lot of things away from it. Uh, just so many things to kind of reflect on that I'm super excited about. Uh, and we're gonna do it right here, right now in this video, recapping the best of 2023. man let's just dive into it my friends uh so gosh what to there's so much good stuff that happened on the channel away from the channel like i was on other people's stuff people were on mine a lot of great shows um a lot of fun collecting this year uh that's one of the things but we'll get to that later uh but on the first one we'll just you know elephant in the room here and we'll just start off with my merch it's silly like it no one's gonna buy my merch but me but you know i just threw a logo on one of those things spread shop is the one i, I have right now uh, because my wife and daughter sometimes like to, you know, really support me with the channel, which I really love. It just means a lot that they're like, here, you know, do you like this sign or do you like this t-shirt? Do you like this hat? You know, so that they just picked up all this great merch for me. I got this mug a little bit earlier in the year, but, uh, you know, a little magnet, little fridge magnet, all this good stuff. Um, but you know, it's, it's just a nice little reminder that they, they're backing me up and they're supporting me. And my favorite though, my favorite is, uh, the thing my daughter came up with, which is the Christmas ornament there, right? The Christmas ornament of Huck's Pop Culture Cafe. Uh, that's just super sweet, man. That, that just made my day. Of all the cool things I got for Christmas, you know, box sets and this and that, this was, this was my fave because it just meant a lot she did that. But, um, yeah, you know, like I said, t-shirts, hats, all that good stuff. It's nice. It's nice to see them supporting me and this channel. At number nine, I want to highlight being on so many people's channels uh, in the year of 2023. Thank you so much for asking me to be a part of your channel and what makes you special and the things that you love to talk about and do. Uh, all these things popping up on the screen right now uh, are just so meaningful to go out and play on somebody's playground. Uh, of course, <laughs> Mega Mike, I'm like a staple over there. Look at all these things uh, on Mike's channel. He's just, he's had me on a ton in 2023 and I appreciate that. Um, but you know, so many other channels too. I appreciate getting on for the first time. Some of them like uh, like Jake with Steelbook Obsessed, and of course Dell with Dell on Movies. The Rad Pack, of course, that was awesome. Just all kinds of first timers. Uh, that was really fun to do and, and, you know, premiere on certain people's channels. So that was super fun. And I want to thank everybody for reaching out to me and asking me to be a part of it. And I want to thank everybody that I reached out to to be a part of my trivia contests or soundtracks that made us and stuff like that coming onto my channel and, you know, helping me uh, play around with the things that I love as well. So that is uh, another thing I'm super thankful for. And I hope it's even bigger next year. Okay, at number eight, I want to say how much fun it was getting out into the convention world last year. I got to go to the Hollywood show a couple of times. I missed the one in the middle, though. That's the one that had Bill Shatner, y'all. I really wanted to get to the one with William Shatner so I could take that photo with him. I hope he does it again this year and that I'm not away. We were literally coming back from our cruise the day of that convention, so missed out on that one. But I did get to see Henry Winkler earlier in 2023, as well as the other Happy Days cast members. That was a real gas for me because uh, I, I really loved that show growing up and those characters and Richie Cunningham, Ralph Mouth, Potsy, you know, the whole Happy Days gang. That was super, super rad. And, you know, meeting the Fonz and getting his autograph. That was excellent. So thank you to Henry Winkler. And then later in the year, the most recent one, uh, I got to go, of course, meet Cassandra Peterson, a.k.a. Elvira. That was awesome. And the great director, Sam Raimi. There we are holding up the Army of Darkness posters. So that, that was really fun meeting them. And of course, we cannot forget the lovely in town of Christina Ricci. There she is, y'all. Uh, taking it the same place, the Hollywood show. Um, yeah, that was just so much fun meeting her. She was really great to all of her fans. Loved her for doing that. There was also uh, WonderCon earlier in the year with tons of great cosplayers. And later in the year, the LA Comic Con, also chock full of great 
cosplayers and vendors. Oh, yep, 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 yep. And earlier in the year, I got to go to the Ted Lasso finale screening and meet a bunch of celebs there and watch the final episode. Uh, so just tons of great stuff happening this year. Uh, so I can't wait to get out to some more conventions in 2024. You know, rub elbows with some more celebs, grab a few more autographs for the autograph collections. There's a Monster Palooza coming out at the end of May. So I'm going to look into that. And if that's happening, if the dates line up, get out there, meet some more celebs, and add to my autograph collection. All right, number seven is this guy right here, the Regal card. Um, I finally joined the Regal, you know, cinema thing that they do where you pay $23.99. Yeah, it's more expensive up where I live. It's like $18.99 at some other people's, but because Santa Clarita, you got to have this, you know, extra pricier thing, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm a, a Regal member and I did that on purpose to get me to go out and see more movies in the cinema and it has worked. Sometimes I've seen two in one weekend and, and stuff like that, which I, I haven't done for a long time. Uh, in 2022, I didn't really do it that much. So at least I got to get out and see a bunch of movies in 2023 using this card. But I didn't start this card until halfway end of the year. So uh, hopefully in 2024, I will really take advantage of my Regal card. Next up at number six is all the great times I spent at Spirit Halloween this year. I went so many times, like nine or 10 times uh, in and out of Spirit Halloween and meeting Ashley. She was such a joy to have run into and, you know, talk with her and find out what's so, you know, great about Spirit Halloween and what's hot and what's not. And, you know, she saved me a copy of that Spirit Halloween Monopoly, which we literally just played last weekend uh, again. So that was super nice of her for that. And I cannot wait to go back again next year and do it all over again. All right, at number five, it's collecting more props for the movie room here. Um, and just in general, I love collecting movie props. And this year in particular, I really loaded up on Indiana Jones. So check out this stuff. So we got the, the idol, you know, from Raiders of the Lost Ark, where he's like, you know, what kind of matos will no matter? You know, you know, this guy. You know, takes it and puts his head on. <laughs> I'm all good. And then here comes the boulder. Uh, so yeah, we got the the idol there. And of course, uh, this isn't an indie prop, but it's Jurassic Park. We got the uh, mosquito in amber. You know, totally digging that. Love that. Uh, another indie prop here is the... And I got this from Mega Mike the Movie Man, y'all. So uh, in the Collector's Club, we swapped uh, Christmas presents for each other, and that was super nice. And in here is the journal of Professor Jones, played by Sean Connery. And this thing is awesome. This is such a great prop, y'all. It's just loaded down with so much stuff. For the price range, this was under 30 bucks, and you get the journal itself, and it's printed on every page. I thought it would just be sort of a you know, a blank book or something like that. But nope, it's loaded down and just tons of like maps and articles. And so that makes this just such a great collectible prop from a franchise I really enjoy. Thank you again, Mike, for that. That's so cool. Uh, and of course, here's the <laughs> triple stuck inside. Uh, the Last Crusade, you know, from The Last Crusade, we got the Holy Grail here, all gold inside. An absolutely fantastic replica. Love that. That just means I need the uh, Shankara Stone from... Uh, the Temple of Doom, and maybe the um, the uh, headpiece to the Staff of Ra from Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then I'll kind of have all my Raiders props. So digging all those. Uh, also got a bunch of Ghostbuster props this year because I dressed up as a Ghostbuster. So I got the Proton Pack, I got the, the goggles, the Ectometer, and of course, thanks to Caveman, he sent me the Ghost Trap. Man, what a dude! It was the one thing I didn't have to finish out the accoutrement as a Ghostbuster, uh, but now I've got that. So I just, I just love props and collectibles from movies I love. So thanks again to like Caveman and Mike and my wife and family and everybody who chipped in to get me some of these props. Cannot wait to see what props I collect in 2024. All right, y'all, at number four, I guess we just kind of got to go for the obvious on this one, and that is collecting a lot of great 4Ks and Blu-rays this year that really added to this collection, to this room. It sort of got, you know, when I got this room put together, I thought, oh, great, I got, I got so much room to, to grow now, maybe three years, <laughs> three years. 
So yeah, it's taking over pretty quick. So I need to almost start curating what I collect a little bit slower in 2024. I think that's my goal because if I continue to collect and, and go nuts too much more, then I'll just sort of be done with this. I'll just max out this room and then and then I just have to stop. I just don't have anywhere else to go outside of this room. So, um, but nonetheless, all these great movies that came out this year, it was super fun collecting. A lot of great steelbooks came out and I put out a top 10 steelbooks video of 2023 that went over some of my favorite ones of the year. So uh, go check that out and you'll see a little bit more in-depth uh, reactions to some of those. And uh, yeah, just again, 4Ks, it, it loading up during Black Friday. I mean, look at some of these killer 4Ks that I snagged uh, for a fraction of the price. A lot of these were $10 each or less. So I'm super excited about and thankful that Black Friday rolled around and allowed some of these to make it into the collection at a real bargain. So that's what I try to do with this channel. I don't really go day one when I know shortly down the line, I could probably get these for a lot, lot less. So um, yeah, how did you guys do when it came to movie collecting? Did you hit your mark? Did you go too far? Did you not quite get enough? Uh, anyway, it, that's, that's part of this fun uh, nature. And I want to get a few more TVs next year. Whether there's a couple of box sets I'm eyeballing, Psych being one of them, just waiting for that to drop in price get those on blu-ray very excited uh maybe a couple other tv sets coming in the next year so yeah just collecting all those things was so much fun and look also through my buddy tim talks talkies he's a audrey hepburn fan so i collected yeah you know, this went down i knew it i knew this is going to go back down in price the greatest let me remind, tell you guys on amazon so when you make a wish list there's a little display next to your collection and it works better on it works good on tablets and your lap and your laptop than i say your phone but it has like a little comment section and you make notes so what i do next to everything is i i, I put it down in the notes how much it was when I first put it in the wish list. So this was like 45 bucks. And then one day it went down to like 33. I'm like, ooh, I'm, I'm gonna pounce on that. And then I, you know, I do this thing, I put it in the cart, I go back the next day to add to the cart and it shot back up. I'm like, oh. So what you do is you go back to the comments and you write in there how low it got. So I know that this got as low as $33 at one time. So if I wait, 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 wait it out, it'll probably go back there again. So this was almost a year later it finally hit that price again, bam, and there it was. And this time I've learned, don't put it in the cart and walk away, just put it in the cart, buy it, and be done with it. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I make notes like that all the time, y'all. So that, that's, my, that's my Amazon you know, uh, advice to you, is, is fill in those little comment sections so you know how low your favorite movie got at one point, because odds are it could get there again, or if it gets close enough, like a dollar or two off, just go ahead and get it. But there it is, so. Anyway, snag that, and of course, uh, Wait Until Dark is one that he recommended um, for our Collectors Club, so I will let you know what I thought of this one come that episode. So yeah, just, you know, collecting movies, watching a lot of movies, having a good time, doing what I love. So, all right, that brings us to the next one. All right, the next one is box sets. I really love box sets. I love TV box sets. I love movie box sets. There's something so fun about collecting, you know, big old chunky sets of movies you love. And so I'm just going to show off a few of those right now. Uh, just got this in for Christmas. Got the Warner Brothers uh, 25 movies. And this is the one with a lot of the uh, award winners. So this is the one I had the least repeats of. So I was very happy to get this. I hope, I, I think, I haven't unwrapped it yet because I want to do an unboxing, but I may or may not. I don't know because it's been so long. Everyone's done it, but I haven't done it. So I'll just hang on to that. Uh, another one that I really loved getting a hold of this year was the Arrow Video Store, uh, The Empire of Screams. You know, I think you guys have seen this before where the store comes off and then there's all your your movies in there. Uh, Dolls ended up being my favorite of all of these. If you want to see my full breakdown of all the movies in this set, uh, go check out the video I made specifically for this one. Uh, I also loved getting this, the Superman. Oh, just such a big Chris Reeve fan. This Superman Steelbook set is so good. Um, and you know, there's a lot of people that 
you know, th th they wished uh, Brandon Routh was in here, but some say no, because it's not Chris Reeve. But to me, the Brandon Routh was a, uh, an organic continuation of these. Certainly from one to two, then you go into returns and it kind of flows together. Uh, and plus, you know, the fifth one, here, there's not five movies in here. There's only four. It says five movie collection, but Superman 2 has two versions. It's the Donner Cut and the Lester Cut. And um, that doesn't, to me, count as five different movies. So it would have been nice to get Superman Returns because I really liked Brandon Ralph's version um, and would like to have had it in here because if you look at some of the other Blu-ray sets, it's included in those sets. So I'm not sure why they didn't kind of keep that mentality going when it came to this. Plus you have a whole fifth, you know, steel book in there, but it's just swag. There's no disc, there's no extra bonus feature with extra stuff on it. It's just a, a steel book with swag inside, which I dig. I love it because it also utilizes the, um, the first comic book cover of Superman as the cover of that, and that's super dope. So love that. Um, and what else, of course, you know, I picked up the uh, Columbia Classics. Uh, this year was Columbia Classics Volume 3. I know that came out, but I, I bought it this year. So, uh, And to, not to mention a bunch of these uh, cool TV show box sets I have up on the shelves over here. Uh, and that just continues to grow and grow. So, yeah, I just, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on the lookout for, for box sets this year at an affordable price to add to that collection as well. Uh, all right, let's get to the next one, number two. At number two, y'all, I am super thankful for having started the Collector's Club with my three buddies, Tim Talks Talkies, uh, Mega Mike the Movie Man, and the convicted cinephile, Derek. Who knew we would just keep plowing through? We committed to it month to month to month once we started it. We haven't missed a month. In fact, we even had this full week extravaganza. <laughs> that I think we can only pull off once a year because it's so big uh, and it was just uh, everything you know we, we would do the collectors club on Sunday and then I did a trivia then the morning mug and then Mike did a show Derek did a show Tim did a show and then there was a recap on Mike's channel of the whole week it was just an unbelievably insane uh, daunting task to do seven days of collectors club stuff and it was just super fun hopefully we'll get to do that again this year if uh, the cards line up properly and we'll see where that goes but uh, it's been fun doing the shows with them learning about what you guys collect hey, making videos that you sent in showing off your collections that's that's why we do this you could be a sci-fi junkie huck i want to thank you so much for reaching out and let me share with you my love for Star Trek. We love collecting, you know, movies, but we also just, you know, we collect, you know, things too. You know, here's like merch stuff and the props I had here a second ago. Like, you can that's what we love to see. What are those other things other than movies that you guys collect? And, and we got to learn that. And we're going to keep learning more uh, from many of you, hopefully this year. And uh, yeah, it's just such a guess. Not to mention, we started a whole recommendation thing where we recommend movies to each other that we've never seen. And then on a future uh, episode of recommendations, it's a so totally separate from the Collectors Club, we talk about what we thought. And we don't hold back. Sometimes we hate it, man. If we hate it, we let you know. We did not like it. I'm like, there's <laughs> no way I want that in my collection and I'll never watch it again. That It's just, oh. that was how <laughs> Mike's all laughing. But that's how like horrific that scene was. So I don't yeah, know. I've never seen it, so I don't know. I'm like, do I want to watch it more now or less yeah. now? Uh, but it's all like legit. It's all honest. Any movie that we watch it's for the first time and our reactions are authentic so uh, if you haven't checked those out please check out our recommendation episodes they're equally as fun as the collector's club episodes collector's club is dangerous though because like <laughs> the collector's club is dangerous when you show all this stuff because even me like i'm not i have funkos but i don't have a ton of them and when mike was showing like the roger rabbit i'm like oh man i want that you know like it's like you're starting to get fomo on all these other things that you kind of did want to keep collecting but it gets dangerous. dangerous over there very dangerous. <laughs> and if you're new to all that in general, go on all of our channels because we've all hosted the shows at one time or another. So, and we all bring a little something different to it as a host. But it's tons of fun and I uh, can't wait to see what the 2024 brings for the Collectors Club. And finally, at number one, the number one thing that I'm most excited for that happened to my channel this year is this my own dedicated space there's absolutely something so 
thrilling, exciting to walk into this room. It's just got me written all over it. Uh, I got to like, like behind me there's posters. I got posters on the wall for the first time in a long time. And every little nook and cranny, I've got stuff hanging everywhere uh, of pop culture stuff that I love. I've got collectibles on the shelves here uh, with my movies. But of course, those collectible spaces are getting shorter and shorter as I continue to get more movies and TV shows. So that's a little bit of a bummer because I do love having that gap there so I can put collectibles in there. So uh, it's going to be kind of sad once the, the movies keep growing and the TV shows keep growing that these collectibles kind of disappear. Like I, I don't know where I mean, they go in a box or something. So I, I almost want to slow down just so I don't lose the ability to show off some collectibles. But I have to say, though, putting this room together, showing you guys that video around August, I think I put it out uh, and you guys really responded to it nicely. So thank you for that. But yeah, this is it. This is where I come in here to. Um, you know, be one with my collection. This is also where I work. So every day I come in to work, I work from home. I get to sit and surround myself with everything I love. Sometimes it's a distraction though, because I'll be working, I'll go, ooh, look at this thing here with Lewis and Clark. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna open it up. And maybe I'll put one behind me on the TV just to keep me company, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's the uh, upside and downside of uh, being in a room surrounded by stuff you love. But nonetheless, it is an absolute thrill to finally have a dedicated space for the Pop Culture Cafe. And I uh, hope you guys have been digging the, the new backdrop. So super exciting. But that is it, y'all. That is my top 10 things that I'm super grateful, happy about, appreciative. All those things regarding my channel and the people that have come on it and been part of it. And I've been part of other people's stuff. Just so much stuff to be thankful for, to love, to look forward to, and all that amazing stuff. So uh, for everybody that watches my channel, I cannot thank you enough. It's been almost three years. Coming up in January uh, of next year, 2024, will be my three-year anniversary, and you guys have made it absolutely amazing. I just cracked over the 4,000 mark, so we'll see. Maybe my birthday, which is April 10th, could it be that we could hit the 5,000 mark before my birthday? I hope so. Maybe even sooner. But... Um, I will, I will save what I want to do with the channel for another video. That's, that's a, something else all, uh, altogether different. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys on this one. So thank you so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new to my channel and this brought you here saying, what's this guy all about? Get on down there and hit like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. But that's going to do it for now. Farewell, 2023. Hello, 2024. What you got, son? Cannot wait to see what it brings. See you next year.